Hello and welcome back. Another day, another DILR workout, and definitely more of a data interpretation and working with basic percentages kind of a challenge. So conceptually quite easy. You just might have to repeat uh, uh, quite a few basic steps a number of times to get to the answer. So the only challenge might be the size of the set, and even that is not too much. So this set should be definitely be the kind of set that all of us nail in the exam. So before starting the discussion, as usual, assuming that you have gone through the set, tried it out by yourself, and then only you are coming to the discussion, so that at the very least we can save the the reading the set time. So assuming you have gone through the story, there was a pizza store delivering pizzas. There were a total of 800 pizzas given in the story. So the starting point was quite easy, and 70% of those pizzas were going to party three. So 560, 70 percent of 800 is 560. We're going to party three. The remaining pizzas, that is 240 pizzas, were distributed equally between party one and party two. So each party will get 120 pizzas. So I've captured that. I'm trying to create a separate table, uh, or trying trying to capture the data separately for all the three parties. So party one has a total of 120 pizzas. Party two has a total of 120 pizzas. And party three has a total of 560 pizzas. Then there was another table given to me, which gave me a breakup of uh, how many of those pizzas delivered to a particular party were thin crust, and how many of them were normal cheese. So this means 60 percent of the pizzas delivered to party one were thin crust. I know the party one total is 120. The party one total is 120. 60 percent of that is going to be 72. So I know out of 120, 72 pizzas were thin crust pizzas. Now at this point of time, I can make a very simple deduction that if out of a total of 120, 72 were thin crust, that means the remaining 120 minus 72 must be deep crust, and that number should be 48. I don't have any information for party one for normal cheese or extra cheese. so i will not fill that data out and move on to the next piece of information party 2 55% of the total are thin crust pizzas 55% of 120 50% of 120 is half of 120 60 and 5% so again is going to be 6 the total is 66 do work out all of these calculations by yourself and preferably orally uh, assuming you have done ratios and percentages thoroughly and well So out of 120, if 66 are thin crust pizzas, that means the remaining 54 pizzas must be deep crust pizzas. Furthermore, for party two, I also know 30% of the pizzas are normal cheese. So out of these 120, 30%, that means 36 are normal cheese pizzas. That means out of the 120, if I subtract 36, I will get the Number of pizzas with extra cheese. So 120 minus 36 is going to give me 84. So I can also conclude that the number of extra cheese pizzas for party two is 84. Now I still have one more challenge to figure out that how many of these extra cheese pizzas are deep crust and how many are thin crust, or how many of the thin crust are uh, normal cheese and deep cheese. I can't figure it out right now, but as I proceed further in the story, hopefully I should be able to figure it out. Moving on to party three, I don't have any data for thin crust, but let me not worry about it. Let me see what is available. Sixty-five percent, sixty-five percent of the total, or fifth, that is sixty-five percent of five sixty, is the normal cheese pizza count. So calculate sixty-five percent of five sixty. And you should be getting 364. Do check the calculations for yourself. Now, if I know out of 560, 364 are normal cheese pizzas, that means the remaining 560 minus 364 are going to be extra cheese pizzas. Are going to be extra cheese pizzas. So calculate 560 minus 364, and you will get. Right, so that's all I can do right now. Let me look at what else is available in the story. The story also tells me that out of the total pizzas, what is the total number of pizzas? 800. Out of those, 37.5 percent, which is nothing but 3 by 8. So 3 by 8 of 800 is going to give you 300. 
so the overall number of thin crust pizzas in the whole story is 300 now i can play with this information and what i already worked out that the total number of thin crust pizzas in party 1 is 72 in party 2 is 66 so the total is so far 72 plus 66 which is 138 out of these total 300 pizzas 138 already went to party 1 and party 2 that means the remaining 162 must go to party 3 300 minus 138 should give you 160 162 and once i know the uh, number of thin crust pizzas out of 560 if i subtract 162 i can figure out the number of deep crust pizza so 560 minus 162 will give you 398 furthermore i also know that 52 percent of the total pizzas are normal cheese pizzas so 52 percent of 800 should give you 416 so now i know the total non uh, the total normal cheese pizzas the number is 416 if i know out of 800 the normal cheese is 416 i can also conclude that extra cheese is going to be 800 minus 416 which would be overall 384 so now let me use this data and try and fill out those missing values i know there is a total of 416 normal cheese pizzas i have 364 accounted for in party 3 and 36 in party 2 364 plus 30 gives you 390 396 plus 4 will give you a total of 400 so out of 416 400 are accounted for in party 2 as well as party 3 that means the remaining 16 must go to party 1 similarly i know the total extra cheese pizzas are 384 i can account for 196 and 84 which gives me a total of 280 that means 104 must be going to party 1 so that's it i cannot move any further in the story i still do not know the distribution of uh, how the thin crust pizzas are divided between non-cheese and extra cheese or vice versa for any of the parties but that's it now i can move towards the question i can work out some of the questions directly or more information will be given to me to work out these little details right so let me see what i can answer so question number one was how many so question number one was how many thin crust pizzas were to be delivered to party three thin crust pizzas for party three just go back to your table highlight that piece of data thin crust pizza for party three is going to be 162 so your answer is going to be option two should be fairly straightforward the next question was how many normal cheese pizzas were required to be delivered to party one quickly visit your table again normal cheese pizzas delivered to party one the total number is 16 only so you have your second value worked out as well your answer should be option c so our next question we have additional information given to us for party two if 50 percent of the normal cheese pizzas were of thin crust variety so for party two 50 percent of the normal cheese were thin crust variety go back to your table think of party 2 think of normal cheese pizzas and calculate 50 percent of this 36 so you know out of these 36 18 were thin crust so out of these 66 18 you can say were normal cheese and from that you can conclude that 66 minus 18 is going to be extra cheese or the value should be 48 now let me see what my question said what was the difference between the number of tec that means thin crust extra cheese and dec pizzas so you want to find thin crust with extra cheese and deep crust with extra cheese as well so you might have to work with the table a little more but it should not be too challenging because you have a total of 84 extra cheese 
out of 84 48 have already gone to thin crust and that means the remaining 84 minus 48 and that means the remaining 84 minus 48 is going to go to deep crust pizzas so 84 minus 48 should give you 36 now actually i can figure out the other value also out of 54 pizzas 36 are gone to extra cheese that means the remaining 18 must have gone to normal cheese though i did not need this detail for this particular question let me revisit the question again so i've already figured out the details now my only challenge is find the difference between the numbers of thin crust extra cheese and deep crust extra cheese okay visit my table again thin crust extra cheese is 48 and deep crust extra cheese is 36 so the difference for me is going to be 12 and my answer option should be option b so right we have our answer we have done three out of four questions as usual leaving the fourth one for you uh, please drop your answers and methods or solutions or problems in the comment section and if there is a problem i'll try and get back to you but overall we have worked out everything in the table so it should not be too much of a challenge so this is basic ratios i mean not even ratios basic level percentages and just keep uh, the the and the idea of persisting with the problem not thinking too much in the beginning just uh, figuring out the values as you figure out those values that logic will become clear so you will see that at we had percentages and we had a lot of subtraction if you want to figure out the value for one party you have to subtract it from the total so very very basic operations but repeating a quite a few number of times which can be challenging uh, in itself but definitely a kind of set that most people will be able to figure out in no time so this is it for this mini session and a reminder to work on your percentages idea very very well because once you master ratios and percentages so many other topics not only in arithmetic but as you notice right now in di lr as well open up so do not ignore these two topics